Hello and welcome back to the Midlands Outdoor Channel, back with another video today. Here we are on a Christmas special video, so I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a good day. But we are going to be taking you on a nice bike ride and some cinematics across the Birmingham Canal to finalise the year. But we are going to be heading through an Everton Tunnel, going to show you some nice cinematics going all the way down. And I might even tell you some history on some bits and pieces what I have uncovered. But wow, it's a very dark day but I'm really looking forward to going through the tunnel itself. I'll tell you what though, that's really fine Neverton Tunnel special. It's a great place in the black country to explore for its history, for the way it was even constructed. I mean, it must have took many, many years for the men to construct all the way through 1.7 mile to the Tiverdale section. Constructed in 1855, there were several injuries down here during construction. I believe one of the air shafts a skip fell and it killed somebody. So it wasn't easy work back then. It was all done by hand. Not like the machinery, what you see today, what does construct tunnels. This is why I find it really cool. It's a great place to see the way the black country was back from them. But you can just see we're 200 metres into the tunnel. It's very dark down to here. But you see the light is not even giving big views right away into the distance, it's so dark. So I have noticed quite a lot of water dripping inside this tunnel from the ceilings. If you hear at a moment, tons of water drops. I've noticed the other side hasn't been repaired. It's been like it for years. If I pan around to show you, just over to there, some of the railings are actually missing. 
I think this rail is missing down onto that back corner down to there. But I just really love how it goes perfect around all the way through, going all the way to the Tiverdale section. So you can just see there's lots to see in Everton Tunnel from the history, from the place markers, very old dates on the wall. But I mean, I'm not even halfway yet. And it's just really, really long. So if you do want to walk this, I definitely would recommend it, but bring the correct footwear. And somebody's asked me, can you cycle through Everton Tunnel? Yes, you can, but the only problem is, it's really, really deep holes in the floor, lots of water. But it's just batting your way to get all the way through it, like you're seeing down there. But once you got halfway, it's easy to get out to the Tivadale section. Wow, what a ride down the Neverton Tudor branch. Lots of history down here. You had the Stower Valley New Brickworks right away to the corner. Right away up there is the Rattle Chain Lagoon, used by the Albright and Wilson Works. Even used to be more Groveland Colliery, right away to the back, just over to that corner. And there is an old canal basin, just right away to the bottom, that I will show you one more time. And then you've got the Toll Works Bridges, right away to the back. So here we are, this is where the Neverton Tunnel branch meets the Birmingham Canal BCN main line. You can just see right away there, the very old bridges, I believe constructed in the 1800s. They say Toll End Works, right around the corner. But I'll come back to those in a little bit. Let's go and journey down here. I've got something really cool to show you. What I never got to show you in the summertime because it was really, really overgrown. So right, what is really fascinating, if we move down to the corner here, Never used to be able to walk through it because it was all overgrown by nettles, brambles. But just right away here is a very, very old canal basin that once more dated to the 1800s. You can just see all the water filling up at the moment with the amount of rain what we've had. Zooming in, there's the old wall right away to the back. So I believe the boats used to come all the way through. I believe there's a cut through point there somewhere for the boats to come into the basin itself and the coal mine used to be right away to the back here with old coal shafts. So there is actually another old Ordnance Survey map giving evidence to those coal mines just right around to the corner. You even had the brickworks right away there. But it's really cool to see a very old canal base. This is once more giving evidence of an old industrial past on the Birmingham Canal. Just awesome to see it. 
So here we are. Wow, what a view of the Birmingham Canal main line just right away in front. Just going all the way down to where we're heading to. And we've got a train line that runs by the side, and he's one of the trains going past at the moment. Could just really spend hours here. This is why sometimes when I'm not filming on my days off, I do come on a bike ride going either that way or the way up to Wolverhampton because there's so much to see. I mean, I've sat here just watching the trains go past the one time and I've got nothing to do. Then I rode all the way back through Neverton Tunnel then back all the way home. But just over there is the Sheep Wash Nature Reserve, what I've covered before in exploring the black country, just hiding right away to the back. I can sort of see the pool at the moment, just right away into the dip. If you've never been there, it's definitely worth a place to go and check out. But wow, what a morning though, it's very dark, very dull. And you've got the pylons right away to the back. So you can just see all the wooded areas just overlooking where the rail line is just into the dip. If I zoom in, you've got the very far back areas over there. Can see a church, a lot of smoke coming from a factory, and then the further back areas over that way. What a view. Well even again, another train, you don't have to wait too long. That's actually a cross country train, I did see one of those when I was filled with Adrian down on the Sally Oak section. I love seeing the trains come up and down by the canal lines, I love it. So the bridges, what you can see by the side of me, were cast at the Horsley Iron Company at Horsley Heath, Tipton, and that was actually founded around 1792. So it does say here, a majority of these bridges, what you can see right around the corner, there's quite a lot of them down the Birmingham Canal, and also the Dudley Canal by me. Some of them were actually made between 1820 and 1858. So you can just see the day, how far these really do date back. Got a lot of history behind them. But if you see the same architecture going all the way down the canal, they'd definitely be made in the 1800s. Well, just imagine how long these have really been sitting here when all the land changed. You could see many years ago, all the industry right away to the back. And when the canal was actually used, industrialised back then. But it is a special place, the BCM main line. It's one of my favourites, and I always love going all the way down towards Spawn Lane, and that's actually where we're heading to. I'm going to get you some nice cinematics down there. But I might stop you a little bit halfway because I've got some more bridges that I want to show you along the journey. But it's just a nice Christmas ride today, just to show you one more time the Birmingham Canal, because we are moving on to different subjects next year, covering different areas. But I've really enjoyed doing several sections and filming across this canal line because this is where most of the black country history lies on canal lines like these. But seeing that basin over there is really cool, still evidence of the old industrial past. <laughs> So yeah, just further down here, it just keeps on going in a straight line. It seems like it never comes to an end. But just by the side of me is the Rattle Chain Lagoon going all the way down the bottom. And just by the side here is where an old industry was back in the old days. And there is actually evidence of where the industry actually was by a canal basin, if it has still got water inside it. So yeah, here we go. You can just see evidence of where an old industry used to be situated right the way here. I think it was right away at the top, 
and it had like a little bit of an incline coming down to load goods into boats that went under the bridge here I mean, straight away down to the Birmingham Canal main line itself but it's really cool to see the water is filling all the way back up giving signs of the old canal basin itself that's just awesome seeing that but it's things like that what really interests me and encourages me to look back at the history but like I say the old ordnance survey maps are the best places to go to find out what things was like you can just see here right away at a moment on the old ordnance survey maps it was full of industry around this part but I can just imagine how old this bridge really is was this actually constructed once more in the late 1800s you can see right away above of where the canal used to go right away in down there and just by the side of a very old steel going all the way across very old bridge but once more look how spectacular the view is going right away to the bottom you can just see a narrow boat coming all the way through down by the Dunkirk stop might take a couple of photos of that it's really lovely then the view going right away back down there from where we come from the tall and work bridges right away to the back But with the black country, I would really love to see what it was actually like. Because it definitely couldn't have been what you see today down there. It must have been so, so different seeing all the factories, bits and pieces, how all the landscapes taken over from the old industrial past. Like this right away behind, you wouldn't really believe that there was industry right away there, where trees have taken right away over, lots of overgrowth right away to the back. And then down there, you can imagine that was also different once more. The Dunkirk stop, the canal used to bend and go through there to serve the back end of the Sheetwas Nature Reserve for coal mines. Lots has really changed with the canals, but it really does make you wonder what it was actually like. have to stop I'm gonna take a little bit of a break but I just love the view here going all the way down there is another train passing right beneath the trees over there just tucking into a cartwheel absolutely lovely and there's a train going all the way past it's all waving then <laughs> but I have noticed with this section going back to the Dunkirk stop when I mentioned in my exploring the black country video that a canal went all the way through I've only just noticed I think that is actually where the canal led through many years ago because if I zoom in to show you right away there you can just see where the canal underneath it's got like a little bit of a gap as the canal has got much more lower a little bit I believe that's where the canal cut through went under the track there then went over to the other side so old ordnance survey map to show you where the Dunkirk stop actually was but my guessing, I think it was that bit there. Because when you look all the way down, that looks so old going all the way across. But that bit there looks like underneath it where the canal cut all the way in. I possibly could be right, I might be wrong, I don't know. And then I've just noticed we've got these bridges one more time. That was cast at the Horsey Iron Company right away here. And then the Braid Hall Junction you can go all the way to Albury, another favourite section where it goes under the motorway. 
I've really enjoyed filming that one as well. So definitely go and check out that one, Exploring the Black Country, A Walk to Albury. So right, let's go and tuck into my cartwheel and let's go and show you the very old bridges right away down the bottom next to that massive factory called King. So right, here's that factory over the other side called King and just by the side of us in a minute is actually two very old bridges. One's a railway bridge, what is still used, and one of them is a derelict bridge, what is not used anymore. But the architecture and design is so awesome because I think it might date to the 1800s. So what I'm interested in is this right around the corner called Union Furnace Bridge. You see as we journey a little bit more further up how old it really is. You can definitely tell that was from the 1800s because where it leads to is to the other side where the railway track goes all the way across. So many years ago, maybe when the railway wasn't even there, this bridge was used to go from one side to the other. So maybe where all that industry is over there was much more different. It was different industry stretching all the way across. There was much more industry onto this side because you can just see they've blocked off the sidings here so the bridge can't be used. So it's definitely dated to the 1800s and that side of the wall going all the way across where it comes to the end. It's a really cool architecture. But how I tell these uh, canal bridges are really old. If we look at the old sidings here, we're looking for something called rope burn. Now rope burn is when they brought all the horses across the canal towpath and the rope was uh, swaying and getting caught like that, which over time rubbed and caused rope burn, which you can just see right away here. So this bridge was definitely here during the Industrial Revolution, and there's evidence of the rope burn right away there. But that piece of metal is so, so old, you can just see it's chipping around corners, jailing all the way under. The underneath of it is really old. And onto this side is even more rope burn right away here, as you can just see. There's evidence of it right away there. And then some of the brick, if we look on the side of the walls, might have a bit of rope burn once more. You see bits of chip there. But you see how old it really is. The bricks are actually coming away and the whole of the wall is eroding. You see all the bricks on the floor down onto the corner, bricks down to there. Has a really old date. Well I mean many people come across the canal line but pay no attention to the bridges because many years ago these were used when the factories were obviously running to cross from one side to the other. Obviously if they had two sections of canal workings, one on this side and one on that side, Round Oak Steel Works had lots of bridges because they had two side workings. You see right oh, up there is another, another very old bit of wood itself. So if I quickly get my camera, you can just see a very old piece of wood stretching all the way across right away at the top support the beams and I've just noticed that that is also eroding as well it's very rotten so how many more years is this bridge actually still going to stand it's in very very poor condition wow I just really love seeing them and there's a train again <laughs> let's go and keep journeying on let's go and head all the way down to the spawn line section I come under where the steward aqueduct is going all the way across.
So here we are, we've got Stuart Aqueduct right around to the corner, going all the way across. Then we've got a motorway, just right away here, overviewing the big massive column supports coming right away down into the canal itself. I think this, many years ago, before the motorway wasn't even there, was all different. It's another interesting place. And then you've got the glassworks right away down there, just onto the corner, and the very old glasswork bridges. But it's all cooked off because it's all unsafe, leading all the way down. But I really hope you've enjoyed the Exploring the Black Country content this year. I've done some really cool stuff, covered bits and pieces. Just so much enjoyed it, seeing things what I've never seen before encouraging myself to go and journey further into the black country but this is one of my favorite places the birmingham mainline canal it's actually one of my first because it's a route what i always do when cycling going all the way to spawn lane may even carry on to birmingham sometimes on a, a different bike ride then loop all the way around from selly oak into woodgate valley that's actually a longer ride that's actually one that i'm going to be filming next year the full route into birmingham city center covering history of the basins and much more but stay tuned and I will see you in 2024. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a fantastic year. We've got more content will come in, more exploring the black country, little bits and pieces. But enjoy the rest of the video and enjoy the things what I've got to show you. These are little bits and clips from the other videos, little bit of things what I've enjoyed filming. So it's like a little bit of a montage just to end the video itself. We'll see you in 2024 and have a good Christmas and see you soon.